Hello guys, so I'm going to tell you a story of how one of my coaches in my athletic club turned, uh, turned um, a guy from nothing into a national champion, alright? How you can turn something out of nothing, alright? Now there's a guy in my club called Peter Matthews, um, you could look him up, he was like a national champion back in like the 90s in like, you know, the cross country and um, how he got into athletics is quite bizarre. It's weird almost. It's creepy. Um, you see, this guy, I think he started off just running for fitness. You know, he wasn't really, he had no interest in competing or anything. And um, I think he lived around like the area where my club is situated. And my athletic coach, he, he started to notice him. And um, he ended up, um, as Peter Matthews himself put it, stalking him to try to get him to join the athletic club and um, he'd be running after him saying you need to join the club and um, uh, Peter Matthews would say oh, no I'm only running for fitness but eventually uh, he persuaded uh, Peter Matthews to actually join uh, my athletic club and you know that's where it all kicked off now um, we had this like mental uh, skills preparation thing like a year ago or something like that where we just where um, Peter Matthews got up in front of us all and you know spoke about his story and it was a while ago so my memory's a bit blurry but you know he he shot he just he was good straight away when he first joined the club and uh, he ended up winning loads of you know national uh, all Ireland cross country uh, gold medals and um, from what like he was just some random guy at running for fitness with no interest in competing and my coach with his uh, perseverance with his stalkerness, stalking, he managed to turn him into a champion. Do you know what I mean? Um, like, you know, I mean, a lot of people probably just say, ah, oh, it's just some runner, it doesn't matter, you know. But, um, like, one thing that struck me was um, around this time last year, or maybe even less than a year ago, I've noticed there's a lot of guys in my area who were like running and they looked young, like teenagers, and and I was like, geez, why doesn't anybody take any notice of them? Like, why don't people um, ask them if they'd like to join a club or something? Make, maybe make something out of them. Uh, I actually tried to um, get one of those guys to join a athletic club. I tried to stop him in the middle of his run, but he kind of just ignored me. So it was unsuccessful. Um, but anyway, that's the thing. Like, uh, you know, and I'm quite a sh um, shy in front of strangers. Like, I need to get to know someone before I become comfortable around them. And uh, you know, I, I even I was able to make that effort to uh, get him into an athletic club, even though it seems very weird. Um, you know, I was willing to uh, make that risk. Do you know what I mean? Uh, well, a lot of people are more like outgoing than me. They'll talk to a stranger all day for hours. They see these guys out running, they're like, eh, sure. I've never even heard of them. They must not be very good at running. Do you know what I mean? Because um, you know, that's the thing. People are too pessimistic. They're like. So what are your interests and hobbies? I'm a runner. Oh, you must not be very good then because, you know, the standard in running in Ireland is shit and nobody's winning anything. Do you know what I mean? you got to work with what you got. Because, um, you know, um, people compare this generation to, like, the generation from, like, this of the 70s and the 80s. But before the 70s, like, the standard in Ireland was crap. Do you know what I mean? And these guys, this generation just came around and, and changed all that. All right, we can do that again. But, you know, we got to just work with what you got. Be, um... Uh, be positive, um, try to get people to running, try to get people fit. Um, I think the key is to just get your average person fitter, you know, because it's too much like obesity and stuff, you know. Um, if your average person becomes fitter, if, if kids stop, you know, playing Fortnite, screaming at the Fortnite, and actually maybe go outside and, you know, play sport, um, and just develop, you know, a decent level of fitness as they grow up, then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have more champions. We'll be able to get them to clubs at whatever it is, like 13, 14, 15, 16, and they'll already have a decent level of fitness and they'll be um, just able to uh, compete at a higher standard. They'll be able to handle the training. They'll be less likely to actually get injured um, and it'll make a huge difference.